All right, y'all. Uh, got a little bit of a break with the children. And it's like, you know, these children don't understand how you have to stop what you have for them all the time. What you got to do for them. And what we do is never going to be enough for some reason. Then my daughter, she wanted to have a sleep, spend the night with her little friends, so they trying to be sneaky. I said, okay, go ahead. Then you come back the next day, you must have hurt yourself. You know what I'm saying? So then you like, all this, you want to get your hair done, you want to get this. I say, go in the store and go get it. You know, you want to do all these grown folk stuff, go in the store, I give you the money and go get it. And you, you making a big deal about you can't go in there and go get something. Then, for some reason, everybody's blaming it on me on how I talk to her. Like, at the end of the day, I'm not feeling sorry for you. You wanted to go. You went over there. You hurt your ankle. I asked you if you needed to go to the hospital. You said no. Why are you turning it on me? Like, I'm not human. I'm not feeling sorry for none of them. They drain the hell out of me percentage of my life. And I don't say nothing because I'm a mother. It seems like that's the way it's supposed to go for some reason. But golly, like, why every time y'all turn around and make it look like something that I did? I ain't even say shit. I said, I'm not going into the goddamn store. Like, you, I'm paying for it. I'm driving y'all there. You can't even go in a damn store? Like, I just don't understand, y'all. Like, it's just be a lot being a parent. So now I gotta go and dust my car off. Alright, y'all. I'm done with the children. Um... You know, now I'm on my way. I gotta vacuum my car. It's dust and stuff all up in here. So I'm about to go and handle that. And hopefully, to Jesus, I can just have a good, decent day. What's up, y'all? Welcome to the little channel. Today is Thursday. I'm off my first job today. Um, I uh, had to get up in the Uber. Y'all know how I am down to the last you know it's time to make some money um so i think i did like five or six rides i don't i've been on fort bragg a lot today um i guess some of the uh troops and stuff are coming back and they all just going to their hotels and getting situated um I am going to take a break. Uh, I have to go to the restroom, so I have to go take a break, the female stuff, and um, I'm going to get back at it since it's still early. Um, I had my first passenger today call me and while I was in the middle of a ride, and they were like, um, I don't know why they direct me with you, and um, I was like, ma'am, I'm your Uber driver. I said I have three more minutes left on my passenger, my current passenger, and then um, I'm going to be directed to come in here to you. And then, you know, got that out of the way. Um, that was a 14-minute trip, and honey, I could not wait. I, I, was try I was, you know, I'm not supposed to speed, but honey, I was trying to speed. At the end of the trip, we started having conversations, but doing the trip, I don't know if people just be thinking... Like, oh, wait, you just uh, a Uber driver or a Lyft driver. That's all you do. I'm like, no, boo-boo. I have a full-time job, and that takes a, a lot of damn energy the hell out of me. Hold on, y'all, because I got to see where the hell I'm going. Yeah, so I'm like, I have a full-time job that takes a lot out of me, and I have uh, the part-time jobs. Like, come on now. Like, the hell wrong with y'all? So when you kind of let them know, like, bitch... I already know. Like I said, I had about nine cars on my life, but then just working with Uber, I'm on my third car. So, like, come on. You know what I'm saying? I already know. I've been there, and I've done that. But, yeah, you guys, I'm going to update you guys. It is raining today. It is raining, raining, raining. It's gray. And y'all know how I get on days like this. It's a gray day. It put me in a gray way. Like, I just want to go to sleep, son. I ain't going to lie. They just woke up, ready to go back to bed. But, yeah, I'll update you guys. I'm watching my homegirl on YouTube. Keep me up. I'm going to head to the house. Do that real quick. I made uh, the first 20 I made. That's just gas. I like to look at it like that. The other 20 I'm making, that'll start going on lunch. And um, the 
the rest of the money. Uh, Uber got some type of uh, activity goal quest. So I guess if you uh, accomplish all the quests, you get $10 on top of it by Sunday. So I'm going to go ahead and do this quest. I wasn't able to kind of get on it recently because they say just do one or more rides. It's a part of the quest. So, but what crazy is, I did what, like five rides, but I'm like, it still got me down for one quest. So I'm just kind of wondering, like, is it every day I need to go on to get the $10 extra? So, let's we'll see what it look like. Um, I'm off today, but I got to work at my hospital job tomorrow. Hopefully, I can get some energy because I'll be so tired, y'all, when I get off work. Like, it's hard for me to go to school. It's hard for me to focus driving when I get off that job. It's very mentally draining. Hopefully, I have a decent supervisor that don't keep me on pod three all the time. And the kind of maneuver. And if I do be on pod three, put me with somebody that know what they're doing. Because then we'll be all right. But, you know, it is what it is. But y'all yeah, update y'all. And we just go from there. All right, y'all. I'm at McDonald's getting my kid something. And they sell the holiday pie. Look like this. And it's warm. And it's good. It's a holiday pie. 